In the first part of my personalised tour to the Camden Haven region, we took a trip along the north side of the Camden Haven River from North Haven into Lauriton. I wanted to show you the green of the trees here, the blue of the river, and of course that mountain and how imposing it is. Now I want to take you for a trip along the other side of the Camden Haven River and show you even more of the special places I've discovered between Lauriton and Camden Head. So let's go. We continue our journey from near the Marine Rescue Shed. We're still hugging the riverfront streets and on your left along here you'll notice a beautiful little boardwalk. This is part of the walk or the ride or the run that you can do all the way from North Haven Beach right into the heart of Lauriton itself. This area near the Lauriton United Services Club is home for an annual foodies event in May called Slice of Haven. It's also where the annual New Year's Eve fireworks are held. And of course, <laughs> provides yet another stunning river view. This bridge over the Camden Haven River was opened way back in 1967 and for the next few months of the year they'll be doing a lot of maintenance on it to give it another 30 years of life. Take a left up here and we'll go along to the river again to see where the actual punt used to cross the river before the bridge was opened. Oh, look! <laughs> We've got a surprise. My daughter's excited to see all these long necks.
and as much as I'd love to stay and chat with those guys a little bit longer, we've still got a lot to go, so uh, we'd better head out. Oh, and by the way, the, the speed limit on all of the streets around here is only 50 kilometres an hour. If you think I'm doing more, that's only the video speeded up. And we're both getting a little bit on the thirsty and hungry side, so let's see what we can do about that too. Well, that coffee was nice, hit the spot beautifully. And what a beautiful spot, great view off that back deck. And those fish, well, strangely enough, made me feel hungry, Ugh. So let's fix that up with some fish and chips from Dunbogan Takeaway. Well, lunch was nice. What a terrible spot to have it, eh? Terrible views. My goodness. Never mind, it's probably time to have another look at the map and see where we're up to. And that first yellow dot there shows where we are right now at Dunbogan Reserve. Now, a fair bit of the next part is basically just trees, so I don't want to bore you with that. So from this spot, shown on the map now, all the way around to this spot well you'll just have to come and have a look at it yourself won't you <laughs> sorry about that okay let's get moving Whoa, I hope you enjoyed that little time warp. Oh, and look, <laughs> you can still see the chips on the dashboard. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I uh, have fixed that reflection problem now, so lucky you. Welcome to Camden Head, and carefully go straight ahead over the top of this hill, down around to the right, and then take the first left, please. And yes, it is a dirt road and one that's not in very good condition today either, but it's not that long, so please bear with it. We're heading up to the end of this and going to have a park, climb out of the car and have a look at another favorite spot of mine. Really good for swimming with young kids and so on, called Googly's or Goggly's or whatever you want to call it, Lagoon. Do you remember visiting Wall Reserve at North Haven earlier? Well, that's it on the other side of the river there. 
for now, we're going to head off down this track and to check out Gogli's Lagoon. There's plenty of shallow water here, with the exception of that big swimming hole right at the start, and there's lots of sand. And even at high tide, you could get over to the other side. Main problem with this area, there's just not enough shade. Blazing hot summer's day, but apart from that, it's great. Well, how about that? We're directly opposite where we started from now, at Pilot Beach. Pilot Beach is a fairly protected beach, just near the mouth of the Camden Haven River. And of course, it gets very, very busy in peak season. And it's not hard to see why. I can just imagine that I'm on a tropical island somewhere. This beach is fairly significant in my life. Way back in 1992 when my son was just three months old, he had his first swim here. That memory was one of the main reasons why I decided to move here when he was eight and I was a single dad in 2000. Meanwhile, over on the break wall, I'm going to attempt to do a 360. Firstly, looking down to the south along Wash House Beach, and there's a beautiful little rock platform for exploring right at the bottom end there. And swing around, almost falling off the rock at the time. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Looking back again now over Pilot Beach and North Brother in the background and out into the mouth of the Camden Haven River with North Haven over on the other side. Not bad. Not bad at all. Just up the top of the hill here is a car park for those of you that want to attempt the perpendicular point walking track in Katang Nature Reserve. And as you can see from this aerial photo, there's quite a lot to explore. And you'll be rewarded with pretty spectacular scenic coastal views from Port Macquarie in the north down to Diamond Head in the south. And using the Google Street Trekker, Google Maps have partnered with national parks and wildlife. You can go for a walk on your computer screen. Just click on that little orange man and you'll see all the paths and tracks and everything highlighted. Explore away.
Now I've got another little dirt track for you to explore. It's a little bit bumpy last time I went along it, but go slowly, it's just fine. And it's only for a couple of minutes, and trust me, <laughs> the result at the end is well and truly worth it. Now the view south from Charles Hamey Lookout is always pretty amazing. Except today it was a little bit windy for me to use the camera, though I've cheated a little bit and used a previous photo that I took. And if you were wondering how you might gain access to Dunbogan Beach, the one that you saw from the lookout, well, it's only a couple of hundred metres down the road, so let's find out. There's a small car park here called Tuckaroo Car Park. And once you've parked, there's a 200 metre trek over some sand dunes. Damned inconvenient <laughs> to get you to the beach, but wow, it's worth it. Okay, it's time to do the time warp again. No, not that one. Uh, and take us back along the boulevard to near where Dunbogan Bridge is, only this time instead of turning right, we're going to take a left for just one more stop on this part of my guided tour. And it's only a couple of hundred metres up the road. Now if you keep going along here far enough, you'll end up at Crowdy Bay National Park. But we're not going that far today. I want you to have a look at the reserve on the right hand side. It's a great spot for picnicking, swimming, fishing, and for those of you that like water skiing, apparently this is where you do it. And once again, we see North Brother dominating the skyline, so that's where we're going next. Just click the button and you'll be on top of the world. <laughs> 